how to build an amazing connection with your current clients or your potential clients. Look, I'm gonna give you the tips right off the bat for this podcast and YouTube show because I do not want you to wait. Number one, have truth and transparency. Number two, be vulnerable. You don't have to be perfect to maintain or obtain new clients. And number three, listen to actively understand. Yeah, don't listen to respond right away. Now, if I got your attention, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts on this because I'm gonna break it down and shake it down each of these individually for the show. All right, so like I said earlier, number one, when you have truth and transparency with your clients, you're showing loyalty. You're showing who you really are. The worst feeling in the world is that you have to fake the funk. You gotta fake and act or look a certain way to maintain the clients that you have or attract the clients. If you're attracting fake people because you're acting fake, those clients are not gonna be the ones that are sustainable and the ones that you wanna work with, all right? Number two, when I say be vulnerable, not having to be perfect, talk about the things that matter to you. It doesn't matter who's gonna judge you. It doesn't matter regardless if you're, they're your current clients or your upcoming potential clients. When you are speaking from the heart, from your experiences, those are the kind of people you wanna aid, right? Because they might be going through the same issues that you once faced, or maybe things that you've delegated and really accomplished to the point where they're like, man, you know what? Jason, I went through that too. And you know, you help all these people. I wanna help people too. So I want you to stick that in the back of your brain. And number three, when I say listen to understand, and I've had so many issues with this in my personal life in the past, I would listen to just automatically listen to a certain parts. I don't know if you've done this before. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna respond to that. I'm gonna respond to that. Yeah, uh uh-huh. Or you try to get the person back, right? instead of really putting yourself in their shoes, especially in the coaching industry, but in any industry, you wanna listen to really capture what they're trying to express to you because they might be going through something that has nothing to do with you. And sometimes, unfortunately, we as humans take things personally by nature. So that's when I always tell you and I remind you, look, separate yourself from your brain because it's it's a totally different entity. You can't get stuck in that moment of, okay, she said this, he said that, I'm gonna respond with X, Y, Z, and it goes back and forth, right? It's like legitimately a battle. Forget the battles, right? Especially when it comes to your business. This is why I made this episode. If you want to attract or keep your current clientele, right but specifically bring new people in when you go on a live when you post a photo a video speak the truth of who you are own it who cares if you were like me you had tons of stretch marks you suffered from depression anxiety you were broke all the things that i've had when i laid it out all to the world not only was it like really internally like a happy feeling for me i was like oh my god i let this out it was truly like the most positive medicine i can i can honestly ever do right which is why years ago i I decided to become a coach whether it's in life whether it's in wellness relationships and it's the most gratifying feeling so remember be true to you stick to these three tips you'll see how amazing your business not only gets from where it's currently at, but even the new business that you're starting. Look, if you have any questions, please drop a comment. I would love to answer them or anything to add to this conversation because there's people out there, right, that are really like, man, you know what? I'm relating to this. Take a screenshot, a screen grab of this episode, whether it's on any podcast platform or on YouTube. Remember, I don't get paid to do this, guys. I'm doing this because back in the day when nobody was there to really help me, I can do it now. Not just when I go on TV shows, but online. I reach way more people. So if this helps you, let me know. Spread the love. Stay inspired. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.